Hi everybody, welcome to our tu this little tutorial called Clipping Masks Are Not That Hard. The one thing I have learned, however, is that I am not a very good speaker and I do not do well on the fly. So what I've done here, just to get us started, is open up a template for a greeting card and um, as you can see, it has no photo. And our goal is to get the photo in the little white rectangle. Very easy to do, you're gonna be shocked at how easy. Any of the templates that you purchase on um, any website for your photography business for CD labels, greeting cards announcements, all of them are made in Photoshop layers and it's so simple to use. If you already know how to use them, then this is not the video for you, but this is for the first timer. Um, our goal here, when you look at this template, is to put the photo in that rectangle and we're gonna do that by coming over to the layers area. And this is a template that I created and I always put a layer in there called place photo here. Highlight that layer, come over to file, and you'll see under file an option called place. So if you place that photo in that square, just remember that the file you choose is what you're gonna place here. So place photo here, select it, you're coming to file, you're choosing place. A browser window opens and it defaults to well, it defaults to desktop on mine, and I guess it does on every Mac. I'm not real sure. But the photo that I'm going to use is one of this little girl. And um, we're going to come over here and hit place. And she's going to show up on top of the template. She's way big, and she's on the top. And we don't want that. What we want her to do is show up in the window, right? So we're going to hit control over the top of the image layer. And, oh, wait. Sorry, got to hit something else and hit place. So sorry. Any of those icons over here, I think I don't even know what I hit right then, but usually I just hit the lasso or something up here. You can hit this little icon. Any of those icons, the move tool, um, any of those, if you hit it, well, it'll ask you the question, uh, place this photo, and you just you select yes or you select place and make sure that it's, and it sticks and the little border goes away. So now you're gonna hit control over the top of this uh, layer, the layer that's um, got the image name, and mine is just an untitled image. Hit control, and then um, you click on your mouse and some options will show, and at this point you'll hit create clipping mask, and select that, and when you do, the image goes behind the viewing window or behind the clipping mask, which is the shape right here and it's back there behind it and that's where we want it to be. But as you can tell, it's pretty big and we don't want it to stay that way. So you go back and hit the layer or select the layer of your image and you'll come over here to edit and you're gonna transform that and you're gonna change the scale. You want it to be smaller, or at least I do. I think it'll show up prettier if it is. You could leave it like this, I suppose, but I'll just show you to um, change that image. You will hit it. it uh, edit, transform, and I chose scale. These um, borders showed up around the image. You can hit shift and you drag down the corner. You might wonder why I hit shift before I started dragging the corner and the reason um, is simple. If you hit shift and drag, it maintains the ratio. It doesn't distort the image or change um, the size lengthwise or widthwise. It just maintains a original ratio. So we've moved, we've um, changed the scale and we're going to use the move, move tool which is going to bring up place the file and yes we're going to place the file it takes away the borders and we can just move this where we want it to show. I'm just going to scoot her up into the window and slide her over a little bit so that the flowers are on the edge and we see those real nice. And that looks pretty good. We'll stop right there. She's where we want her to be, and that's as simple as it is. We're done. You can hit, you're going to save your image, so you're going to file, save as a JPEG. Make sure it's in the highest resolution because you want to be able to send it off to the print company and then not change any of the quality. We'll just call this video tutorial, just for fun. I don't know where to delete it. Hit save. I always save maximum quality and click OK. Alrighty, and that's all there is to it. Now you've got this picture back here. You don't want to save it with the picture back there. You want to save your original file, just hit save. Oops, don't hit save. 
get clues easier. And you're done. Thanks for watching.